everybody. Today for Kids Church, invite your parents to watch with you again so you all can discuss some of the questions together as a family. At the end of the video, I'm also going to invite you to write or draw something from the passage to hang on your wall. So pause the video if you'd like, go grab some paper and markers. Okay, before we get into the story today, I have two questions for you to discuss as a family. Okay, friends, the last couple of weeks we talked about God's family. First, we talked about Abraham, who God promised would be the father of a big family, and he changed his name to Abraham. And as you guys remember, God kept his promise. Then we learned about his grandson, Jacob, who wrestled with God, and God changed his name to Israel. And we talked about how God changes our hearts when we meet with him. So today, our story finds this big family of God traveling in the desert. So we've talked about Moses in the past. I'm sure you remember some stories about Moses. He is the great, great grandson of Jacob. And you probably remember how he brought God's people out of slavery and through the desert to the land that God had promised to Abraham all those years ago. Before they moved into this new place, surrounded by new people and new ideas, God had a message for them. So we're gonna read about that in our Spark Story Bible. Moses was talking to the Israelites before they moved into their new country. Moses said, come here, I have a message from God. Everyone turned to listen to Moses. This is what God says, said Moses. There is only one God and we are part of God's family. Love God with everything you say, think, and do. The people nodded. They were thankful for the new country God was giving them. But how would they remember God in this new home? What if they forgot? Moses said, teach your children about God. Talk about God at home when you go places, at bedtime and in the morning. Remember, we belong to God. Moses was right. The people told their children stories about God while they kept traveling. They were moving to a new country and they were God's family. Okay, I'm also gonna read for you a little bit of that same story from the Bible. This is in Deuteronomy 6, starting in verse four. Listen, Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. These words that I'm giving you today are to be in your heart. Repeat them to your children. Talk about them when you sit in your house and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Bind them as a sign on your hand and let them be a symbol on your forehead. Write them on the doorposts of your house and on your city gates. So these verses are known as the Shema, which in Hebrew means here. The Jewish people recite this in their morning prayers in their evening prayers. And many of them, just like the passage says, hang these words on the doorposts in their house or maybe on the walls of their house so that they can have a reminder of what God told them. So God wanted his people to remember who they were and that they belonged to God. So I have a few more questions for you to discuss as a family. And when you're done, I would love for y'all to create your own Shema to put up on your wall or somewhere in your house as a reminder. So if you look in the video description, there's a couple of coloring pages that you can download or you can just design your own. So go ahead and discuss those questions and work on your family shema. you guys were able to talk about some ways that your family can help each other love God well. So in the Shema, it says for parents to repeat these words to their children all day long to help them remember. But you know, there's a lot more to that. God's family is bigger than just the people that are in our house. At the beginning of our time today, I asked you guys to talk about what a community is. So communities are really important. Communities are groups of people who have something in common. 
Um, they're a group of people that do things together. So a community might be people from your school, it could be a soccer team, it could be people that live on your block. There's lots of different types of communities. So Loft is a community, and it's a community of people who love God. That's what we have in common. We're a tiny and a really special part of God's big family, and we need each other to learn how to love God better, just like you need the people in your house. One other thing that's important about communities is something called proximity. Proximity is a big word that means people are close to each other. So that could mean you live close to each other, or it could just mean that you spend time together. And right now, we don't get to have a lot of proximity, and that's really, really hard. Because of that, we have to make an extra effort to spend time talking to each other, loving each other, serving each other, so that just like the Israelites, we don't forget who we are and forget who we belong to. Got a few people from our Loft community here to remind us about what makes our Loft family really special. Hey Loft kids. Um, so I wanted to share what I love about our Loft community. What I love about our church is that we're small, so most of us know each other, and that means um, that we're really a real community, like we're like a family. And I also love that we really care about one another and um, share real life together. So we share both the really exciting times and happy, um, occasions of our lives and then we also share like the low points uh the points where you know we're really not in a good place and really need our community to pray for us so those are just a couple things that i love about our community hi kids church how are y'all doing i just wanted to take a, a few moments and talk about what i love about our loft community I love that Loft is a multi-ethnic church where everyone knows and loves each other. Our church makes new people feel welcome and anyone can jump right in and get involved. We are the body of Christ, so we all have different parts to do in our church. Those are just a, a few reasons that make our church family unique and special. I hope you're all doing great. Bye. Hey guys, uh, I just want to share a couple things about why I like Loft so much, um, things that I find unique about it. Um, so the first thing is I like Loft because everybody that I've met there, um, there's so many different diversified backgrounds, um, so many uh, different people there that just are from all different walks of life. You know, they. They've had different experiences. They've gone through certain things. So it teaches us to not only appreciate um, those different backgrounds, but also appreciate differences and to acknowledge that um, there is no one good way to grow up. There is no um, right or wrong way to do it. It's just a lot of, a lot of beautiful ways that, are, that people are brought up and um, in different cultures and different languages. And it's just so, awesome to see that and just so I mean I feel honored to be a part of that and um, one of the things I feel that Loft is you know what makes it unique is um, you know people just wanting to invest in you and genuinely invest in you and just hear about how you're doing how they can pray for you how they can um, just be an encouragement in your life I feel like a lot of people are so um, genuine about that and really do care about other people in, in the church body not only that but also reaching out and spreading the gospel to other communities as well so um, those are just a couple of things I wanted to share uh, miss you guys and we'll talk to you soon hi guys what do I love about the community at Loft City Church what I love most about the community is that we're bound together by the love of Christ and that it doesn't matter what we look like, if we're old or young or skinny or fat or whatever else, but it's the love of Jesus and the love of God that matters most and that we love each other and we serve God together. And that's what I love most. See you soon. What 
I love most about rock is that we get a um, gather every Sunday and sing songs together. I what I love about Law Family is we're all a big family. I like Law Family because we can eat together. Friends, I am so grateful that each one of you is part of the Law Family. I love learning more about God and how to love Him with you guys. So, y'all are going to help me close in prayer today. When I say, help us remember, you're going to say, We love you, O oh God. We love you, O oh God. All right, let's pray. Dear God, no matter where we go, help us to remember. We love you, O oh God. No matter how we feel, help us to remember. We love you, O oh God. No matter what time it is, help us to remember. We love you, O oh God. No matter who we are with, help us to remember. We love you, O oh God. No matter what happens, help us to remember. We love you, O oh God. Amen. All right, everybody. We sure love you guys, and we miss you. And we hope to see you guys for our Zoom hangout on Friday. Right? <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody.